Good morning, everyone, and welcome. Before we start, we have a disclosure. Please read the disclosure. Normally, we start every day around uh, 10 o'clock Eastern time. Uh, sometimes we start a bit early. So if uh, there is any new signal uh, for the traders are welcome to copy it as long as at your own risk. And uh, please follow us on a SIM. You should not take in any live trade uh, when you see those signal. This is a uh, base for education, educational only. And uh, it is at your own risk. Uh, we start at 10 o'clock, so I will stay quiet for the ones are new. You will see the new signal here. It tells you the entry and the target on all those futures market and the Forex and the stocks. You can do the same. The market analyzer is based on uh, one minute and one lot. The charts is automated based on uh, two uh, contracts, but the market analyzer is based on one contract. Here we have the scalpers and here we have the swing trading and we'll go in the details uh, later on with that. Uh, for now, uh, I need to get ready. So we'll start at 10 o'clock. Thank you.
uh, on the last signal, we had uh, 400 ticks uh, on the NASDAQ, and now we are done with it, and we're coming with the new signals. So get ready with that. Uh, it was a beautiful run, 400 ticks within minutes. And uh, we nailed a new signal, ES, a new signal, YM, new signal, Russell, a new signal, DAX, and a new signal, CL. Welcome to trading. Oh, yes, Tony. Uh, I think I, I said the CL and uh, Dax and all of them. I said them. Thank you, sir. <clears throat> okay, guys, uh, I just caught your attention on those new signal, and we start at 10 o'clock. Thank you.
Okay, uh, we started this morning and uh, we got the first signal nailed around three, four hundred ticks on the NASDAQ, ES, all of them. And then the market recovered and now is dropping again one more time. So there is a lot of changes in the market right now. Be careful, guys. Uh, there is a lot of... Uh, the market right away changed direction immediately one more time. So let's see what will happen. The swing trading is still on the on the short, and you can see direct impact on the scalpers as well. Uh, it had a few losses in there, and uh, the uh, there is a new signals coming out again on the ES uh, on the on the YM thirty year Treasury bond and uh, the DAX. Okay. The NASDAQ is really uh, a drop in, uh, it took a first drop in seconds and and um, again, it took uh, that, uh, recovered a bit, we got a new signal and now we, you see it dropped right away. We nailed around 300 takes, pulled back on the trailing stop one and two, like we always do. And then the market dropped one more time. And this is a problem. This is a volatility right now. And uh, the market, for some reason, is sitting, cannot find direction. So we hopefully get some direction. It's a really critical timing. And uh, we'll see 
how is going to react this this is really dangerous game today be careful guys it seems like the market is not holding and it's going down so this is uh, your es and we'll try to get you the Uh, the ES is stuck between those uh, resistance line. We have a double heavy resistance line on the ES. And uh, the market right now is stuck between those double resistance line and our entry point. So um, let's see how the ES is going to break because now we are stuck in that area on the ES. If you are an ES trader, be careful, guys. Uh, you got to wait. You gotta wait. You have two options here on the ES. Either put a sell limited order, sell on a stem, please. We're not allowed to call live trade for you. On a, on a on a, uh, a limited order, it has to be ninety twenty five. Uh, this is a limited order sell, or we will see if this uh, ES able. Uh, to break those area here, then uh, we are looking for a really trouble today in the market. So you can see exactly where is this ES and it cannot be traded in this area right now. So this is really, really, you have to approach this one carefully with the ES traders. Uh, we are stuck in that uh, channel in that area here. So uh, be careful on this. This is a very serious matter uh, in the market today. And uh, we will uh, see uh, what the ES is going to do. And then keep your eye on the NASDAQ because the NASDAQ did the spike a uh, few uh, minutes after the markets open. Pull back on the double trailing stop here, trailing stop one and trailing stop two. Those are Florin FIPS. We hit the target one more time and we drop to the dangerous area for the ones that's following us. This is the two yellow lines where you should not take any more short trades uh, below those numbers here at, between those two yellow lines. And this is exactly uh, what we are seeing right now on the uh, ES, NASDAQ and Dow Jones. We are in a very critical area and this is, is gonna really cause this market um, a little bit of uh, volatility, ES, NASDAQ and Dow Jones. So we'll, I'm very curious with the outcome on this uh, market right now. It is a really, really dangerous game. If, if you don't have to trade, wait a few minutes till we find direction in this market. Um, you can see where is this ES getting stuck. And this is a critical area. Um, I will not make a bet on, uh, on, on those area right now with the, with the ES. NASDAQ and down zones until we see how this market taking a direction. Uh, cool off on the trade, please. And um, sit on the side and uh, let's see what will happen. For the CL story, it is a very good uh, position on the CL. Uh, we have no problem with the CL position. Uh, if you are a CL trader, you got to watch out the 69.24. We have a little bumpy right in there, and then the target is not much on the CL today. It's 69.34, followed by double resistance. So there is a problem once we get to the 69.33 on the CL. We're going to have some, uh, if there is not enough buyers to penetrate those area here, we're looking for also a problem with the volatility. So we'll see. Uh, I think I will go ahead and step and take uh, one out and stay on one trade. There is an option for this market to be rejected from the 99 level or, or God will see what will happen here. But uh, for CL traders, you are very fine on that one. ES, uh, NASDAQ, down zones, uh, we have no direction, folks. We have no direction. So we'll see.
Welcome to trader. This market analyzer was uh, all in the plus and uh, right now is all in the red. And also the scalpers are uh, in a lot of stress. And uh, we, you see the red and the green. And uh, the only thing I can say, welcome to trading. Uh, on the swing trading here, it is all short and they're all doing fine on the swing trading. We can cover the swing trading. But first I wanna see, keep my eye on this uh, ES to see which direction we are going to take on the ES. And then uh, we can uh, cover uh, the swing trading uh, in our own sweet time. Uh, it is just critical area here. Be careful with the ES. And I strongly advise you, if you don't have to, sit on the side, not even if you have an auto trade, put this auto trade on the side, whatever this auto trade coming from, whether it's ours or somebody else, and let's wait on this ES to find a direction and then turn on your auto trade, or if you wanted to trade yourself. But right now, take your hands off trading with the NASDAQ YM and, and, uh, and, uh, it is very hard what you are doing. You're not trading here, you are guessing. Very simple guys, you are guessing. You're making a bet if this ES gonna break to the, uh, to, to uh, uh, out of this area here, or you are making a bet this uh, ES is gonna break down. So you're flipping the coin on that ES trade right now, and there is no direction on the ES. So don't mess with the market. If, if you don't have uh, enough um, power to do that, do not mess with this market because it can get you. It is a very serious matter. Uh, Tony got uh, 360 uh, life. On what, uh, Tony, you got uh, 360? CL, ES, NASDAQ, Dow Jones, where did you get that 360 from? Okay, there we go. You see how the ES is stuck, guys? If you are taking the trade, then that is gonna drive you crazy. So this is a really no direction at the moment. You cannot beat the market. You cannot cross, you cannot go head to head with the market. None of us is big enough to do that. We're now market movers. So just sit on the side and let's see if there is a direction in this market. Again, uh, if you wanted to, to insist on taking a trade on the short, uh, and it's not a big trade, uh, limited order at uh, 90, 27900. Uh, limited order sell. This is the only one. If this uh, ES break that area, it's gonna keep hammering down all the way to the target. And that target is not much, I mean, it's not that big uh, as you see. Uh, we are in a very extreme critical areas here. So we, we should not be, uh, uh, you know, you have to be very cautious with that trade. Uh, is, uh, look, look. That's exactly what we are talking about. Welcome to trading. If you cannot see that, you are in trouble. Really, folks. Honest to God. And this is where uh, a lot of traders... Uh, brush off those uh, areas or maybe they don't have enough tools to to look at it but uh, this is a really 
critical area here. Still, um, you need to go short limited order on a SIM 9000. Uh, for the YM, yes, sir. Let me see. Uh, sir, on the YM, it's the same thing. Um, if you wanted to go short on the YM, uh, you should not be taking a short. You should be put in a limited order at 498. Exactly. Limited order at 498. The NASDAQ, we already made it, and there is nothing to do with the NASDAQ. And uh, we cannot take a trace anymore on the NASDAQ. And um, it's done the NASDAQ. Okay, we have uh, the CL position I'm not worried about. I'm worried about the ES position, as I said. So the ES position, YM position, this is what I'm worried about. And... Um, Right now, you you need to worry about the CL at uh, exactly, folks, 69.33. 69.33, you're going to have a problem on the CL. If you are on that trade, you need you need to get the hell out of Dutch with 69.33 level. Because this one here is going to reject at 69.33, not unless if we have a huge market movers able to go above that target and a double resistance. Good luck with that, you know. So the, 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 the chances for that uh, CL to go above the 69.33, it is uh, uh, two, three out of 10. It's not uh, really something uh, you, you need to, uh, to deal with. Uh, so be careful with that CL. Yeah, you know, you cannot cross it. Um, uh, there is something, you, the longer you, you, you trade in this market, the more you have respect for it. And uh, when you see it's not your fight, you need to get out because there is sometimes the way this market move, this is not your game. You know, you're nothing but just one contract or two contract or four. The best uh, choice is uh, for your no market movers. You're not able uh, to do anything to this market. So be careful. Uh, don't cross or don't go head to head with the market. You lose, you know. So we have to in a way, politely tipped up around the, the, the market and go with the same direction at this market going. As you see right now, folks, as uh, we expected, uh, the, the ES is not doing anything. And you stay on this limited order where I told you, sell limited order, and you have to be very light-handed with it. Uh, you, you, you don't have this uh, luxury to, uh, to to just sit down and relax with that trade. You have to be very light in it with it. And it is a good uh, to practice with it. Break even as soon as, as uh, possible, plus one take if it goes below those numbers at 90.50. A little pullback on the CL. I'm not worried about the CL, but I'm worried about the ES. And uh, the NASDAQ is dead, is finished. Whoever took that trade uh, earlier uh, is done. And... Um, uh, and uh, probably uh, Tony got this NASDAQ earlier today. And um, uh, so now we are waiting on the side with the... Um, that's why you made your money. Uh, this is... Uh, yeah. You see, that's what that's what it is, uh, Tony. Because before you were here at ten o'clock, and you were missing out on those uh, signal at um, um, uh, the ones they come at nine o'clock. And uh, yesterday you got it. And um, uh, this is uh, Tony, uh, the new signal. He was telling me there is a new signal. Uh, he got uh, three hundred sixty. Uh, Live and uh, 11.50 on a sim 
and he traded the Nasdaq because he catch the signal um, uh, at um, before we started. Okay, as expected, you need to, uh, any CL traders out there, uh, this is your limitation, folks. 69.32, 69.33, out. You need to close position. ES is sitting like a yo-yo. You cannot do anything to it. Uh, there we go. We have a buyers. Okay, so let's see. Don't do anything. Don't get excited with that ES, folks. Don't. It is a very dangerous game today, and you got to watch out like a hog on, on those here. Now we are coming and facing a double, uh, the trailing stop one and trailing stop two. Those are, are fib lines, okay, the trailing stops. So this is, plus you have a safe entry. So we have one, two, three, plus, uh, I don't know if you can see it on the YouTube, we have a also small uh, resistance line. So the probability this ES is not going to able to do anything with that. So don't go ahead and, and start uh, uh, taking off with the ES and don't do not do anything. There is a chances for that ES to drop again. And actually it is a re-entry short. So uh, don't play wishy-washy with this uh, ES, leave it alone. Let's see what will happen. Most likely that ES is gonna be dropped and this is a re-entry. For those guys are trading Renko bars, range, uh, minutes, whatever, by now, all your indicators, all your mags, all your ATRs, all your momentums, all your banana indicators, pointing, they are following that uh, uh, bars and they are saying, you know, buy, 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 because now they are in positive. Well, the reality, they're not in positive. The reality is this is a re-entry for short. And now uh, if I need to go ahead and, and analyze what's going on on the ES, I can uh, pull up some charts and start really digging into uh, if I need to re-enter short or stay on it or uh, try to um, analyze, see what's going on on that one here. And there we go. As you see, uh, you know, guys, as you see, look at this. You got excited for nothing. This is a re-entry point. If you look at the market analyzer, it says safe entry. Safe entry means re-entry point. We have a new signal on the on the Russell, and uh, the entry is uh, 86 level uh, 93. You have a re-entry at 803, and look what happened. It came in exactly uh, to the uh, re-entry point on the chart, and now we are struggling in that area. I do not to trust the ES now for not even a one cent. So leave that market alone, please. Okay, uh, the CL story. Now we have a new levels. Uh, we You can extend it from 69.33 to 69.35. I mean, there is two more takes. I don't know if you wanna really mess with two takes, but this is a $600 on the uh, CL trade. Uh, the ES is not worth invest anything in it. Uh, just go ahead and grab yourself a coffee, put your, put your legs on a table, take your hands off the mouth and, and uh, don't deal with it. Look at this, look at this folks. This is one of the biggest mistakes traders do right there. From here to here, all your indicators, they follow the market. They don't predict the market. By now, it's telling you up. By the time you jump in the market, and now there are those guys sitting and laughing their ass off. Those market movers. They know your tricks. They know your FIPS. They know your MACDs. They know your ATRs. They know you, what you are looking at. They put false uh, a trade and then they pull it out and 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 millisecond before they get filled they know all this you know so and uh, now we have uh, got up on the cl all the way to the 69.29 and now there is a little pullback we estimated we need to get out of that trade around 69.33 
and uh, and we will get out of uh, the trade at 69.33. The high high right now it is 69.29. So we missed the three takes. Uh, don't worry about it. It's gonna come uh, in a few seconds. Or if you are happy with the 69.29, go ahead and cash it in at 69.29. So right now the CL has fell. One more time the CL fell. Here is what the uh, the EAS is telling you. We have a, a resistant line. We have a trailing stop one and trailing stop two and a re-entry point. Fair enough. We came in the first time we hit wall to wall with that, we fell. Then we try one more time, we fell. We try the fourth time, we fell. We try the fifth time, we fell. What is gonna happen to this ES folks? It's gonna go back to the support now. It's no longer resistance has become a, a support line. And we have three lines here sitting, telling us it's going to be hell for that ES to break down. So the ES right now in a volatility area, and this is where most of professionals, the aggressive ones, uh, they manage to, to lose a lot of money. They triple their account and then they go down and then they triple their account and they go down. They don't know when to stop. They have no idea when to stop. If if uh, if you don't know when to stop in this market, uh, you can get in a lot of trouble, folks. You can get in a lot of trouble. And auto trade, yes, fine. Uh, the auto trade can take the motions. And auto trade is very good. Can make a decision for you. Uh, I'm not arguing with that point, but uh, also uh, knowledge what's going on. It is uh, a very important. Look at this. Look. Keep dropping the ES. Keep dropping the ES. Keep failing. So for the last 20 minutes, gentlemen, where we said be careful with that one until now, can you imagine how many traders are trading the ES has lost money? I don't want to talk about some uh, guy make a PDF and uh, saying that he's making $5,000 a day uh, on the ES. Good luck for him. But I'm saying how many guys with the ES traders in the last 20 minutes has lost money? Millions, millions. Why? A lack of information and a lack of knowledge. The millions people lost money in millions those last 20 minutes. Half of them, they are auto trading and the others are manual trading. Here is the aggravation. Maybe this guy have a good auto trade He's blaming the auto trade, absolutely. And the other half is, is following indicators. When you follow indicators, the indicators pointing this market up or pointing the market down, or they relying on um, uh, the uh, how many sell and buy in the market. Fine, fair enough. What about those guys They put fake orders in the market? Are you seeing that? When they are dismissing those orders, are you seeing that? When they are putting, um, buying uh, 20 contracts and they dismiss it milliseconds before they get filled, are you looking at it? That's why I don't believe in this strategy. I have the six different, I have three different monitors here, measuring the buyers and the sellers with a six different time frame. That's how I can understand what the um, each size of traders are doing and what the amateur doing, what the institutional is doing, and what is the high time frame is telling me. Then I will look at the market analyzers here. I have it down from one minute to 30 minutes, one minute to 30 minutes. And that can give me a pretty good idea. And all those junks, Mike D, ATRs, and all this, they are right there. And then they go in one box and they implement one signal. And it was this one here, all those indicators you have, they've been tweaked for the last 20 years. 
and you will find them right there on the signal. That's all what I need, it's just a signal where they are. So right now, uh, the volatility on the uh, ES is overwhelming, nothing happening, and uh, we are sitting on the side, we're not touching that market for now, and uh, until we see some major breakup. Uh, this is uh, the story on the ES, we can get pissed, or we can learn to sit on the side and not do anything. On the CL, we have estimated to exit at uh, 69.33. We got all the way to the 69.29. We have a support line here has been confirmed. The 69.11, 69.10 has been valid. And as we see, the CL has been above this line here. And it has been confirmed. The 69.11, it, uh, it is confirmed as a support area for the CL. However, the CL has two choices, either hit the next level or it's going to break that level. If it's going to break that level, that's mean you need to close your position immediately and don't mess with it because it's going back to the re-entry point at 69 level. Very simple. So it is a very dangerous game and uh, you got to be careful today uh, how to, to trade on those. I'm going to be quiet for uh, uh, a few minutes. I have a few phone calls I need to catch up. And uh, I will uh, be, look, you see how the CL is coming? And um, and here is your, let me see the scalpers. The scalpers are really under stress today. Uh, they're, they're really struggling, the scalpers. Uh, and... Um, uh, the only ones are really doing well today is the swing trading, actually. And the reason that the swing trading doing well, because they have been positioned earlier today and they've been on the same trade. As an example, if we look at the CL, uh, the swing trading uh, has entered the market at, uh, uh, at uh, 68.91, around the, around the nine, uh, uh, a little bit around 10 o'clock. And um, and I will go ahead and uh, show you the, uh, the ES, they all hit the target NASDAQ, everything hit the target NASDAQ YM uh, on the, it hit 665. Uh, at uh, done around 9:38. When the when the C, when the Nasdaq uh, dropped that much, then we are done with it. And also the YM, I will be sharing the YM, the DAX, and everything right now. So, so those are an early position. That's why uh, uh, they are still on that trade. And uh, but uh, right now, who is not on the um, in early position, he's going to have a problem on those. Sixty-nine twenty-nine. It is uh, still holding that. And on the uh, ES, they're trying. You see, there is a lot of buyers coming up. A lot of buyers coming, okay? Finally, we're taking a new direction. Okay, uh, we have... Uh... Okay, you're done with the CL. You are done with the CL, folks. We estimated 69.33, 69.34, and we are done with the CL, right on time, look. Right on time. We're done with that. There is nothing left on the CL, it's over. You can stay if you want to, but... Um, a new, 
a new signal on the ES, new levels, a new signal on the YM. There is buyers coming into on the ES. Finally, seems like they decided to take this uh, ES up. Uh, the CL is over, sir, uh, but you can take your chances to the new uh, target. But for me, the CL is done at the... Uh, there is a could be a few takes up and down. I mean, I'm, I cannot, uh, but uh, I know the limitation on the CL is here. So if there is some people want to move it up, you can move it. I mean, now we have a new target is 69.48. I don't know if it's going to able to accomplish that. Uh, we will see, you know. There is no trade on the NASDAQ. It's a long way from home. Be careful with the NASDAQ. There is no trades on the NASDAQ. Okay, I need to be quiet for a few minutes. I'll be right back. Thank you.
as an expected on the CL, uh, the high is uh, uh, 69.43. We estimate it is going to be 69.34 max. So what it is, is just a little uh, noises above this line, but there is nothing. There is nothing. And now it's, it's finished. It's over. For the CL, it is a re-entry at 69.12, folks. This is, uh, we've done a job once uh, to, to come, I, I can, I'm not allowed to, but uh, uh, they do that. They make sure that uh, sometimes your fibs do not hold. They know that. They know, you know. So on those one here, it's just a little noises above the this uh, line, but uh, this is nothing right now, and it is over. Now you're playing games with that one here on the CL. It is over. For from here to here, it's not worth it to sit down and go head to head with the market. It's not. Close in and and run. That's it. Uh, the the ES and uh, the YM slowly, but we are going in the right direction. Uh, there is a wide open on the YM, and uh, we are going. But uh, what is what is concern is that Nasdaq. Uh, the Nasdaq is having a problem on a double resistance right there, and the Nasdaq is coming to this trouble right there. And if this one here is not able to break those area, we're gonna be having a problem with the ES and then uh, and uh, uh, YM. So if this Nasdaq not able to break this critical area right there, we are looking for trouble on the ES and Nasdaq. You're not uh, YM. You're not uh, out uh, out of trouble right now. So uh, I don't know where to put everything here. Just let me see. It looks so crowded. I wish, you know, YouTube, they can um, do something so we can share a couple monitors. You see this trouble coming from that uh, NASDAQ right now? It's a struggling in this area. Look, if it's not able, look, look. You want to see where is your AS uh, going? Look at this area right now. You want to see what is where is your YM going? Look at this area right now with the Nasdaq. If this uh, uh, area, we're not able to break it, it's going to bring us a trouble to this YM and the ES trade. Right now, you are $300 in the, in, on the, the ES, and keep your hand close to the mouth because this one here is going to fail. This is going to give you direct impact on your trade with the ES and, uh, and uh, your YM. Watch this one very carefully on your chart. And um, I don't want to sit down and watch those as much as I want to watch uh, the NASDAQ. And I would like you to, to keep your eye on the NASDAQ for a second to where, I don't know where to put everything here. Just keep your eye on that NASDAQ. It is a very critical area. If this NASDAQ can break that area here, you are on a very nice jackpot on the ES. If this uh, NASDAQ not able to break that area, you see this one here? That's mean we're gonna look for volatility and you're gonna see your profit melted like an ice cream right in front of your eye, folks. And this is exactly what I was scared of. And this is exactly what's happening. So please keep your eye on it and uh, please learn because I, honestly is given a tremendous stress for me given two hours to the public and i'm really dying to to have a break from it but i cannot pull out right now you know and and uh, try to learn as much as you can while while i'm still can squeeze those two hours a day really thank you
if you watch folks uh, the ES and the YM is reacting to this market on the Nasdaq when you are in that trade you know you you have a direct they have a direct impact right now on the Nasdaq let's see what we, if the Nasdaq now going back to retest those areas if it's not gonna able to break those areas we are looking for volatility for those amateur trading uh, they have an auto trade you should know when is your auto trade whether it this auto trade from us or somebody else I, I don't care you have to understand it's not just the auto trade uh, the auto trade is mechanical trading but you should know when your Nasdaq is not making money you should know why it did not make money nothing because it's the auto trade fault I'm not trying to defend anybody's auto trade and I'm not trying to defend my auto trade uh, we are done with the auto trading it's not I'm not talking from weakness we are done we are done long time ago with the with the auto trade but uh, it's not about auto trade as much as understand how to manage those auto trades uh, the system is a, is a, is a recalculating the the CL I was estimating the CL it will be over here at 69.37 and what happened this market kept flirting with the same numbers we were expecting the CL to be final destination and now there we go we have a new noises coming up all the way to this target here fine fair enough but for those guys they they took that trade from here to here six hundred dollars is much better than nine hundred dollars between 600 yes there is a 300 dollars but this is a high risk because it was a huge possibility for this market to drop all the way down to the re-entry point so this anything above this is a high risk and we estimate it on situation like this if you have your trend stopped a little bit closer to this area i can be related to but uh sometimes the market go few ticks you cannot uh grab every takes out of it i was estimating this market to be done at the 33 level and there we go surprising so let's go back on uh on the nasdaq to see what's going on For the Nasdaq pullback is uh, 3450. This is a, a re entry point, limited order 3475, 3450. This is a, a re entry point on the Nasdaq. So now we are watching this Nasdaq. It's trying one more time. It's trying one more time this Nasdaq to break this area. If this area broke, that's mean we are hitting the jackpot and it's going to start. Uh, 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 fly in the ES and the Nasdaq let's see we're coming again to those areas 725 there is weakness this is uh, the key right now holding this ES and the YM right there
if we notice uh, the scalpers uh, recovered, immediately recovered, but uh, right now you can see how the ES start losing momentum and how the uh, YM start losing. And the reason is right now, this is exactly where the re-entry point on the NASDAQ is at 34.75, right there, limited order buy, right there. This is your uh, pullback re-entry on the uh, NASDAQ. This is exactly where it is your re-entry point on the NASDAQ, folks. And now the NASDAQ is going to try one more time. I called to, to for the re-entry, I don't know, five, ten minutes ago. But this is the re-entry point on the NASDAQ. And uh, now the NASDAQ is going to go back and probably retest it and, and uh, see how the outcome coming in, otherwise we are really going to be in a very boring day today. Uh, the CL, uh, they they managed to, to get a few ticks above what I was expecting. Yes, and uh, some probably traders got excited and start uh, jumping into long trade. And uh, it did not end up uh, nicely uh, what happened. It pulled back. And the party is over on the CL. So what be, between this line and that line, it was nothing but noises. You know, and uh, you should not get excited for every movement in the in this uh, business. This is a very nice re-entry we called. And now let's see if this NASDAQ able to break those areas. Seems like there is buyers coming in. Uh, let's see. This is the third or the fourth time the NASDAQ trying to get up to those level. And let's see uh, if we are able to break it. If we break it, it's going to be a very happy day for us. The market is going to get smooth all the way to 12 o'clock. If it's not, that's mean. There we go. Look at this uh, CL, folks. The party is over on the CL. Merry Christmas. It's finished. It's done. It's over. Okay. This is the re-entry point. If we are uh, if we are going below that number, it's going to be a long day. So let's look at the Nasdaq. Keep our eye on this Nasdaq. It is very important number on that Nasdaq. This is our re-entry point on the NASDAQ, 34.25. If this NASDAQ hit below the uh, 33.75, we're done for today. I don't want to look at this market anymore. Look, you see what is this NASDAQ flirting with? That number. This is a key between long and short. You see how this number respected? That is going to have direct impact on the ES and YM. As you see. This is the key for that market today. Right in front of you.
Okay. There we go. Thank you. The market was sitting on one threat. ES, NASDAQ, Dow Jones sitting on that one here. One threat. That make a lot of different because it's been confirmed holding this market. Now we're going to have a direct impact on the rest of the bozos here. Double resistant 47.75. This one headache we need to cross and then the rest of the headache is right there. Again. Okay, this is the last, there we go. This is the last stop. This is the last one. This is the last break we need. We need this one badly. Once you see, or once you know how things work in, you always, you always be ahead of the market, always. You have to be a little bit, you know, more German about it, and you have to be strict about it. You do not get excited with every bar's movement, because there is a lot of fake movement in this business, and. There we go again on the on the Nasdaq. You see what is this Nasdaq? There we go again. The same problem was 20 minutes ago. The same problem right now. The same impact on the ES and Nasdaq, uh, NYM. It's right in front of you, folks. You don't have that knowledge, you have a problem. Let's see. Once this Nasdaq break those areas, we're home free for, or for from now till twelve o'clock. It's gonna be nothing but a jackpot. I mean, it's going to fly this market. We're just looking at this number right now to see if those numbers are able. To... There we go. It's done. It's finished. Merry Christmas. It's finished. A little struggling. Okay, come on, blow on it, Tony. We need to see that bar close above the 55, which it will, just be patient. It is a major air area we are breaking on the NASDAQ.
honestly, uh, Tony, have you ever uh, thought the market this way? Uh, mm -hmm. Any of our members here? Uh, uh, talk to me on the Skype, please. Okay, there is. <sighs> Have you ever thought about looking at this market this way? Or you just follow indicators? I want to know. As you see, folks, the party is over. The party is over. It's finished. I strongly advise you to uh, continue the rest of the day extremely carefully. And um, I don't know what will happen after 12 o'clock, but uh, this is a day where you will get in trouble. The party is over. Elvis left the building. Let's look at some other stuff. Uh, the scalpers did very well. CL, ES, DAX, Y M another C L another Y M. They're all one minute to three minutes and five minutes. Another E S. All the same. One and three and five minutes. NASDAQ, CL, the swing trade in all of them has closed. They are, they're finished long time ago. They're done. It's over. They all daily target 500. We all finished. Different accounts, different, uh, they're all one, three, and five minutes, and they're done. Even the DAX uh, did not uh, uh, go that far today. And, uh, and uh, the well, Ben. That's how it is. Yesterday we had a lot of movement in the market and today we have a lot of uh, ugly trades actually. Uh, so uh, folks, that's all what we have for today. We are extremely busy today. I have a tons of uh, work and um, I'm not able to stay to 12 o'clock. Uh, I wish you the best and uh, please approach the market for the rest of the day cautiously. And uh, okay, we have a new signals here. You're very welcome to follow those signals 
a new signals on the YM uh, sell price uh, 5579 target 5487 Russell uh, entry price uh, 5801 uh, 1572 and uh, Treasury bond 30 137.28 138.2 uh, for the uh, the gentlemen the traders uh, our traders they were done before even we were at 10 o'clock most of them that were done follow the signal around nine o'clock and uh, they they catch that spike at nine o'clock and uh, they were done and over before we even started and uh, if you go back into the video you will see the first five minutes when those markets that were trending and we hit all the targets so for our members they were already and done uh, before we even started today but then uh, once this market spiked and everything, there is nothing left um, uh, to trade and uh, there is nothing but volatility. Uh, and uh, the only thing we got out of uh, 10 o'clock, it was a, we, we went up with the ES two times $300 uh, on the ES based on the last signal. And then we mentioned where is the NASDAQ is gonna have an impact on the YM. So for the ones that were following on those, I hope they were able to catch uh, uh, some ticks in there and uh, for the CL it's still going in a yo-yo as expected uh, from the first minute and uh, we said the the target is right there and what we have right now above this uh, numbers nothing but noises uh, we were right in line and uh, we we have showed how tricky sometimes this market can be and uh, I wish you all the best. And uh, we'll see you all tomorrow, Friday. Uh, we'll see you at 10 o'clock Eastern time, the same channel. If you like us, please give us a thumb up. And uh, you're very welcome uh, uh, tomorrow uh, at 10 o'clock. God bless you all and see you tomorrow at 10 o'clock. Bye for now.